Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22 of an old guy gaming. And in this episode, we are going to continue working on getting uh, field 57 prepared for planting. And then uh, if all goes well, we should uh, get it planted in this episode. Uh, it is August the 3rd still um, because I figured, well, we might as well just do all the field prep now and then we can do the planting first thing in the morning uh, on September. Also, uh, we, we're going to have some product to sell in September too. Um, let's see, what is it that, uh, we could sell? We could, we could sell milk if we wanted to. Um, yeah, we might sell a little bit of milk in September. We'll see. Uh, let's see what else we can sell cake. So cake, uh, will be sold in September. If uh, we'll sell cheese in September, butter, I pr we'll probably sell any excess, but excess butter that we have. Cause our bakery is completely full of butter right now. Uh, which is used to make the cake. And uh, let's see, was there anything else for set? Oh, no, chocolate's January. Yeah. So I think it's those things. Uh, so we'll be selling those in September as well. So yeah, September's going to be a good month. Um, all right. So first order of business, we've completely plowed 57 and we have all of the stones moved off of it and we've expanded it. So it's, uh, uh, a much, well, I wouldn't say much larger, but definitely larger than it was before. So that's good. Um, so let's take a look at the soil composition. So we're going to have to lime around the edges. And um, the center has, you know, apparently recently been limed. So we're just going to leave that as it is. And then we're going to, uh, we're going to fertilize it. And I might use... Uh, we might try slurry out in this episode. Now we'll just rent a, a slurry spreader. We got the tank and we have the slurry, but we need the, the spreader attachment. Um, so we'll probably lease, you know, one of those and get that done for, for, for the first application of fertilizer. It's interesting that there's little spots here that are showing as fertilizer. I don't know why that is. Um, and then I think after that, we'll be finished with August and then we'll move into September and then we'll seed. And I'm also going to take the, uh, my cedar and go around. There's a few places here on uh, the hay fields that I've kind of nicked and messed up and we'll, we'll see if we can fix those too. Okay. So that is the plan. First order of business is to get that lime spread. So let's jump into the fence and put our spreader on. Um, and do I have any lime? I got a little bit of lime here. Not a, not a bunch, but a little bit. I've already done all my my August chores, so that I, I just did that off camera this time. We are getting low on seed in the greenhouses, so that's going to have to happen probably next month. We're good. We should be good for you know another day, a day or three. Let's see if I can get this close enough to load that lime up. Yep, we're grabbing it. Nice. Okay, that is not even going to be close to enough, though. So we're going to have to purchase a few more of these. So let's go into the store. And uh, we'll go here and here. Fortunately, lime's not too terribly expensive. Um, let's just get... Let's get four. And, you know, if we don't use it all... Then we always have the option of using it later. So we'll load up the hopper. So we basically just need to go around the edge of the field here. And let's see. We probably don't need to have this on the full width either. Well, maybe over here we do. But definitely not along uh, the edges here. So why don't we do this? I'm going to just come over to here. And we're going to put this on the narrowest spread. And we'll just go, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll just go along these first couple of 
uh, borders that are, are narrower. And then when we get to the other end that's wider, then I'll we'll decide, we'll figure out, you know, what the width should be on the spread at that point. All right, that uses up that uh, hopper. So let's go load up again, come back and do some more. Okay, so it starts to get a little bit wider here if we look at the map. So why don't we increase our spread width um, right to about that spot-ish. So how about if we go with this? Uh, and of course we run out right at, right before we completely finish it. Ah, oh, isn't that the way it goes, eh? Okay, so yeah, we'll just have to get that <coughs> in this little spot up here. And because this was grass, um, it's already got the first stage fertilizer, which is nice too. We don't even really need to hit the the boundaries with our slurry spreader or just the main field. All right. I'll go back and get the rest of the lime and get this finished, and then uh, we will uh, we'll take a look in the store and see what slurry spread we want to try. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go to the store, and we're going to look for slurry tanks. And we're not we're going to have to get something. We're not going to be able to get the widest spreader because it's just too expensive. Uh, so this is a six point eight, which is really small. This is an 18 meter for 62,000. This is a 21 meter for 69,000. That's only a 6.2. Um, and then these are just too expensive. I mean, even to lease that is going to be ridiculous. And that's only a 7 meter there. Uh, so I think this is probably the best option for us it's you know reasonable width there it's still even it's seventy thousand dollars what's the lease on that thirty five hundred yeah let's do it okay all right now we got to go get our slurry tank to connect to that so let's go do that now this will be our first time my first time working with slurry in this game like many other things I've seen other uh, other people do it but I haven't done it myself so it should be fun we will eventually the plan is to to buy the attachment um, when it comes on sale Okay, so we'll go hook up to the attachment first, and then we'll come back and fill the slurry and then run, head over to the field. We bought this tank last, I think it was last December or January, and I've never used it. <laughs> it's just been sitting here. We got a good deal on it, though. It's a, it's not the largest tank, but it's on the on the upper end in terms of capacity, so I'm happy to have it. Okay, so I think what we have to do is back in through here. That is a tight squeeze, man. Actually, is that what we do? I don't, I don't know. Can we even fit in there? Okay, I guess we can. That doesn't seem... Like we should be able to, but because our our tires are going over the supports there. Look, 
it up, hook up the lines. No PTO on this one. Very cool. All right. Let's go fill her up. I'm glad we have the big fit for this, too. I have a feeling if this was completely full, the New Holland might struggle a little bit with it. Maybe not, though. I mean, what's the... Just out of curiosity. What's the horsepower rating? 275? Yeah. It's... The New Holland's rated for it, but... Yeah, not really sure. Okay, so let's pull on over to our slurry loader thingy and we remove the hatch at the top of the tank there. We don't actually have to be right over it, but we'll do it just for fun. Okay, let's load up. There's the slurry sitting in the tank there. Stinky, but free fertilizer, man. Okay, so that gave us 30,000 liters. Uh, you know what I should have done, or would have liked to have done, is we should have looked to see... Um, oh my goodness, <laughs> we have almost 180,000 liters still in there. Uh, so we just took 30 out, okay. Let's head on over to the field. And again, we don't have to do the spots that had uh, had grass. Uh, we're going to need to do a second application anyways, and, and at that point, it'll probably have to be granular fertilizer because there's no way I'm going to have enough manure to cover this field. Okay, so what do we do now? Um, unfold slurry distributor. No, it goes out even more. Nice. Okay. Look at that. That is neat. All right. I think we're going to need to be a little bit closer to the edge. Because we only really did one plow's width here. So let's say right about here. All right. Lower slurry distributor. Oh, is it going? It's going. I never turned it on. Okay. It kind of puts a wet, mucky muck texture on the field. That's cool. All right. Let's fertilize our field, guys. Yeah, you can tell it definitely changes the the texture there. That's good, because then we can see what's actually been done. The lime kind of helps here, too, with knowing where the actual edge of the original field is. Okay, let's lift that up. Back around to here. And then get straightened out right about in. Whoop. I'm watching the spreader and not my tractor here. Right about there. Should be good. Actually, I think we're further over than we need to be, but that's okay. We'll just go with this line here. Oh, can I use um 
whatchamacallit with this? I guess you can't use GPS with these either. Well, I, I don't understand that. It's almost like maybe something's not working or course play or auto drives interfering with GPS because why in the world wouldn't you be able to or want to use it with this, right? Um, let me look at something here. Maybe we have a conflict with keyboard shortcuts. So we know that uh, guidance steering is enabled with Alt plus C. Um, so does anything from the other mods using Alt plus C? Horseplay doesn't appear to be using Alt plus C for anything. Um, what about auto drive? There's a lot of, a lot of commands for that. Nope. I don't see anything. All right. Well, maybe again, it's only available to like combines or something. I'll have to do a little more research on that, I guess. So we'll have to do this the old fashioned way. We'll get down, oops, I'm getting off my line here. We'll get down to the end of the field and then we'll take a look and see if I missed anything. Probably did. So we're just hitting 50% right here. Okay. That's cool. All right, let's take a look at the field. Nope. Nope, doesn't look like I missed anything. We were actually a lot further over that way than we needed to be, but that's okay. So everything's looking good. <clears throat> okay, so now we'll we'll start on this path and then come around this way. I like this. This is cool. A different way to do things. I know I'm, again, probably further over than I need to be, but... We'll just go with it. We'll just go with it. It's not like we don't have plenty of slurry, man. We've been actually saving that stuff up for what, two years? <laughs> and we still haven't completely filled the barn either. So we're at 29% here. This is a really nice way to, to do things, fertilizing if you're close to your slurry supply if you were like halfway across the map this would be a pain in the butt because you'd have to make multiple trips to you know to come back to reload i should be able to make one full circle here and then we'll check and see how we did Let's take a look, see. Good. So we got everything, and now we just kind of work on a main field. Nifty. Okay, so um, we're at nine percent. Why don't we? Just start right here until we run out and 
that's it. Okay. I've got an idea, actually. I don't know if you would necessarily want to do this in real life, but what if... We just, um, you first need to fold the tool. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to, I was just going to drop it off here in the field to go back and get the tank, but considering how long it takes to fold this thing up, it probably isn't worth it. So we'll just fold it up as we drive back and that way we'll save time. I guess that didn't take too long to fold. Thank you cows for your fertilizing contribution. Okay, let's do another load.
All right, guys, we're pretty much done. There's just a couple of little spots for us to do here. So we got a, this little section here. And that should fix this stuff. And then there's some stuff down there from when we mulched, I believe. So just kind of right around in this corner down here. I missed a lot of little spots just because it's it's a little bit different trying to control the angle of, of this when it's at the rear and especially at the rear of a of a long tank trailer. But not a big deal though. All right, now let's take a look. So that takes care of all that. There's just a tiny bit in the corner. I know it's not that big of a deal, but if we're going to do it, might as well do it right. Especially since this isn't going to be a grass field, so it's not going to get the automatic fertilization stage that grass gets. So we need to make sure everything gets covered here. Okay, perfect. All right. So that takes care of fertilizing field 57 and also our first uh, shot at doing uh, slurry, which was kind of fun. All right, we don't need this spreader anymore at this point. If I if I was a little bit uh, better off money-wise at the moment, I'd maybe consider a lease to own on this, but ultimately I'd like to have a larger spreader anyway. Uh, so let's go ahead and return this so we're not paying for an extra hour and that worked out pretty well i have to say it worked out pretty well i don't know if i can unload the slurry back into the tank i would imagine i mean i don't know this but i would imagine that these tanks are built <clears throat> so that you can just store the slurry inside of them anyways i would think there's probably, you know, some degree of corrosion with the, the urine especially that's mixed in there. But I'm pretty sure the game doesn't care one way or the other. <laughs> so we're just going to keep the slurry in here. And we have a 70% full tank for the next time we use it. My guess, though, is in real life... You know, if you're going to store one of these for long term, you would empty the slurry out and then, you know, probably rinse it out too. But here again, uh, Farming Simulator 22, I'm sure doesn't take that into account. I'd be very surprised if it did. Excellent. All right, that was fun. I like it. I like it, I like it. Okay, guys, let's take a look at end of the month finances for August, and then we're going to move into September, and it's going to be time to plant. So we'll get on back over to the farmhouse here. We are done uh, for today and done for August. All of our chores are done. We have a full afternoon, so maybe what we'll do is we'll grab a shotgun and go out and do some pheasant hunting or something. Just relax and have a, have a bit of a recreational afternoon after all the hard work we've been doing. Uh, oh, we should definitely hose down our tractor after spreading slurry. I'm sure it's all yucky and stinky, even though it actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> so let's get her all cleaned up here. I sure am enjoying this tractor, you guys. She's a beaut. You know, I mentioned that... Um, in the last episode, I mentioned that we will, <clears throat> that I'm going to move this character and uh, OG and all of his money to a new map when we start our next series, but I wasn't going to really bring anything with me, but maybe my pickup, but I got to thinking, um, we might not, we might bring a few things with us. We might hook up the man to the, to the uh, flatbed trailer, which is also a low boy, and load up definitely load this up and probably load our pickup up and at least take our pickup and our fent with us it's not really much point in taking the new holland in the McC whoa oh we got this too yeah i don't know i might have to do a convoy 
<laughs> I might have to do a convoy. I don't want to get rid of this. Okay, yeah, I'll have to rethink that. And actually, I don't know if I want to get rid of this either. <laughs> Goodness gracious. We'll have to rethink that. Anyway. Fun stuff, man. Fun stuff. All right, let's park the tractor and take a look at our finances and then move into September. We won't sell any of our September product till right at the very end of the month. So we can get as much produced as possible and get maximum bang for our buck. We'll go sit on a porch and have a glass of iced tea. And take a look at our finances. Okay, so here is where we are at the end of August. So we have spent $15,000 on new vehicles. Um, what did we buy? We bought something. I can't remember what it is now. That's not, that's not leasing costs, is it? What the heck did we buy? I can't, th I can't remember what we bought. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, we bought something. I just don't remember what it was. Um, you know, we've had lots of, lots of episodes over the course of August. I don't know. What have we done? Four or five episodes? And uh, I just don't remember what it is. Uh, you guys probably remember. I just don't. Uh, but anyway, whatever. If it comes to me, I'll, I'll think of it later. So yeah, we spent fifteen thousand dollars on something. I can't remember what it was. Uh, we spent forty six eighty eight on construction for landscaping and that sort of thing. Uh, vehicle running costs. I didn't do any repairs in August because money was super tight. So you know that's gonna come back later. And well, it's not gonna bite us in the butt, but we just need enough overhead to be able to afford to do the repairs. And still, you know, not run out of money. Uh, we spent sixty-seven seventy-nine in leasing costs, eight hundred and three dollars in property maintenance. Um, that's actually down a little bit from the previous. Well, it's not really because because it's still you know it's not the the end of the the day. Uh, Forty-five dollars in production costs in the positive. We sold one hundred and five dollars worth of wood. <laughs> spent two hundred and five dollars in diesel doing it and labor. No, not really, but still. Anyway. Uh, let's see, water costs $516, harvest income, uh, we made a little bit of income from, I think, contracts, yeah, 3000 oh yeah, because I think we did um, some canola or something like that. Uh, we we netted 29340 on contracts, we paid workers eighty eight ninety one. I already paid my pallet moving worker earlier, so so that money's been taken out, and unfortunately we paid $440 in interest, but it is what it is. Okay, so that is the end of the month for August. I'm still trying to think, remember what I bought, though. What in the heck did we buy, you guys? It's bugging me now. I didn't buy a roller. Oh, is it? Is it the bucket? That bucket didn't cost fifteen thousand dollars, though. We did buy the bucket. Well, anyway, whatever. I'm sure it's legit. I just don't remember what it is. Okay, so um, we are going to take the rest of the day off. We're going to go do some pheasant hunting, and I will see you guys on September the 1st.